why Channing Tatum had to give Za Kravitz a pep talk on her first day directing Blink twice. The first day was scary. Kravitz tells Entertainment Weekly of her directorial debut. It took Za Kravitz over seven years to bring Blink twice to life, but the first day of filming her directorial debut was not a dream come true. In fact, the actor-turned-director tells Entertainment Weekly that the first day of shooting was honestly terrifying and her fiancé, Channing Tatum, ended up having to give her a much-needed pet talk to get through it. Blink Twice, written by Kravitz and E.T. Fakenbaum, stars Naomi Aki as Frida, a cocktail waitress tired of being overlooked who gets invited to billionaire tech mogul Slater King's Tatum, private island for what seems like a non-stop luxury party. But she soon finds out that paradise isn't all that it seems when her best friend Jess, Aaliyah Shawkat, goes missing, and none of the other partying vacationers seem to care, or even remember that Jess was ever there, despite meeting her days earlier. The dark, psychological thriller soon becomes a literal fight for survival. Kravitz reveals that the first day of filming turned out to be one of the most difficult because it was a big group scene. It was really overwhelming because any scene with more than two people in it is mayhem, she tells Ego. It was the entire cast by the pool, which, looking back, I would have not planned it that way because I was definitely overwhelmed. We had this really long water shot, and it was a big way to start. The tough conditions on set didn't make things any easier for the first-time director. We're shooting in Mexico in the summertime. It's so hot. The actors are so hot. The sun is crazy, Kravitz says. I remember going back to the room at the end of the day and just really wondering what I got myself into. And Chan had to give me a nice big pep talk, which was incredibly helpful. Looking back on that stressful day, Kravitz knows she could have made it easier on herself by tackling a different, smaller scene instead. But she also thinks the first day would probably have always been the hardest and the scariest no matter what. And then you kind of just dive in and you don't even look back after that, she says. You're so in it and so focused, but the first day was scary. Kravitz and Tatum met while making Blink twice and are now engaged in real life. She reveals she didn't always know that she wanted Tatum for the role of Slater, but once that clicked in, that was pretty clear and exciting. Kravitz says his casting happened quite early on in the process because she wanted someone who could draw the main characters in quickly. It felt important for the story, but specifically for Frida and Jess to go on this trip. They need to feel comfortable. They need to feel safe, she says. And I think that he is an actor that we all associate with those things. And then I also felt like this was something we hadn't seen him do before, which is so exciting for the audience and so exciting for him as an artist to be able to explore a different part of himself and to show what he's capable of as an actor, which is incredible. Tatum was also a producer on the film, and Kravitz loved working with him on a script through its many rewrites. He was heavily involved in terms of Slater's journey, so I got to really understand his approach to the character and incorporate it into the script as much as possible before we shot, she says. Which was great because there's so much going on set. It was nice that we were very much on the same page about what our goal was with Slater. By the time we were on set, it was just about supporting him, him supporting me, and making sure I was just letting him focus on his work. And it was my job to keep what we had talked about alive and making sure that we were honoring our intentions for the character and to make sure that was coming through on screen. The challenges didn't stop after that overwhelming first day, but Kravitz found herself loving every second of directing no matter how difficult the days got. I think I've really found what I am best at in terms of filmmaking, she says. I love problem solving. I love multitasking. I love long hours. I love working hard so that part of it is difficult, but I enjoy it. I think just the race against time is always the issue when it comes to filmmaking. And it's about how do you solve those problems creatively when something goes wrong and it will go wrong every day, all day, and just trying to stay as creative as possible and not shutting down when those moments happen.